I saw what happened with Kenneth Okunko, who said he no longer speaks for Peter Obi because he doesn't think that he has the grit and the, the firmness to be able to handle issues. Are you still with Peter Obi? Do you do you hold sim, similar uh, notion or what do you make of that kind of situation where he thinks what is going on in the Labour Party needed a firm and a very, very strong handling, but he didn't see that uh, that Peter Obi was able to undo that situation the manner in which he did are you also disappointed with what is happening in the labor party um let me say this what is happening in the labor party is for me the noise next door i'm not a member of the labor party and i have labored to make this clear before the election during the election and after the election i have not concerned myself with what is happening in the labor party Kenneth joined the Labour Party, so it was his business what was happening there. It's none of my business and I've not made it my business. I'm not a politician. I am a citizen of a country that is not yet born. A victim of Nigeria looking to have a better country in the future. Peter Obi is a man that I admire a lot. I don't expect him to dictate what should happen in the Labour Party. When did he join them? The Labour Party is a party. He's not... Uh, I believe that if it's a party, to an extent, they would have to find a democratic mean of resolving their differences. Peter Obi is not in a position to dictate the terms of their settlement to them, and I don't expect him to. If I, obviously, Kenneth Okonko has a different understanding of what Peter Obi's um, response should have been. He is a politician, just like Peter Obi is a politician. They are the ones who decide what political tactics works for them as politicians. Me, I'm not a politician. I, as of today, if there were to be a presidential election, Peter Obi is the person I'll still queue behind because I believe in his capacity to take Nigeria in a non-violent manner to the revolution that I desire. I wish to see Nigeria turn around and I don't want to see that happening violently. And I believe that Peter will be as the mass appeal and the capacity to unite this country behind a vision for a better future. That is the basis. As at today, I don't know what he might do tomorrow that might change my mind. I'm a free agent. It might be that tomorrow he decides to align himself with persons that I do not believe I can work with, people that I believe cannot bring anything good to Nigeria and on account of that I might decide okay hasta la vista we can't work together but as a today barring any dramatic happenstance I remain solidly behind Peter Obi and I will continue to support him into 2027 if he's going to run and if we have managed to reform our electoral system because any election without a reformation of our electoral system I'm not interested hmm. I mean, uh, Kenneth Tugunko went as far as saying for 2027, Peter will be Bola Tunubu article should move aside. Like, or you, yeah. Kenneth, or you, uh, you are of the opinion yeah, that 2027, you are of the opinion that 2027, Peter will be should re, uh, realign or go back to the to the ring and see through his art and run again for president. That's your opinion, and that's your stand, isn't Let it? Let me put it this way. Peter Obi did not lose the last election. Peter Obi won the last election. INEC and the judiciary performed their magic. 2027, there will be no election without a reformation of our electoral system. If the electoral system is not reformed to ensure that beavers and electronic transmission from the polling unit becomes compulsory, I would not even bother to participate in that election. Because you can be sure that Inubu was not in power that ran and snatched and grabbed it, already has the 2027 election results written. A Tinubu that will be busy appointing weakest man as electoral commissioner, the most violent election Riga in Nigeria today he openly is wicked. That is the person whose proxy was being appointed. That's, as a, that's, a, that's a witty allegation. I mean, commissioner. I, 
I, that's a waste of I said it because he's on video now. What I oh, I beg she will stop being politically correct. There are multiple videos and audios of Wicked enforcing his political will in River State over and above the sovereign will of the people of that state. Violently too. So if this is not please. I don't do beer parlor talk. No, here. no, no. Because and why you know, you know, need to balance things. You can. Are you suggesting? Okay, so let's turn it into an argument. I am a, saying here. My name mm -hmm. remains Dele Faro Chimi, and I am saying that there are more than enough material online showing Wiki violently suppressing the right of the people of River State to elect their chosen representatives. And I am saying that his personal aid, his person, has already been appointed a resident electoral commission since Tinubu came to power. So how can you be talking about a free and fair election in 2027 when it's already a fait accompli that without consequential amendment of the Electoral Act, without a consequential reformation of our judicial system, the same madness that took place in 2023 will repeat itself in 2027. If we do not tell ourselves these basic truths ahead of time, how can we even hope that anything will change? We have to be unapologetic and unrepentant in pushing the truth in their eyes. As I've told you, the truth is both a sword and a shield. I love wielding it as a sword and smashing them on the head with it, and I don't care for their feelings. I don't know how long any one of us is going to live. I'm not going to live my life kowtowing to the opinion, sentiments, or emotions of worthless human beings who have wrecked the life of thousands and millions by their actions and inactions. So we cannot be talking about an election in 2027 in the presence of the multiple madnesses that have remained with us in the, pre in the presence of a situation where a corrupt INEC chairman will open his mouth and blithely declare on national TV, go to court. We can't be having that and be talking about an election in 2027. We must at least be honest enough to tell ourselves what is in front of us. If there is going to be an election worthy of his name, I will be out there supporting Peter Obi. If there will be an election and if we still even have a country, the way Bulaba is going with Nigeria, what do we know that will be left of this country by 2027? What will be left of this country? A anemia is being killed in his own domain after ransom war. And we are talking about 2027. An Oba was killed. Two Obas, for instance, were killed in Ekiti for the other time. And we are still talking about 2027. You practically don't have a functional state again. Somebody is single-handedly without recourse to any due process. The due process law be damned. The PPP law be damned. Single-handedly without public tender of any sort. They are awarding a road at 4 billion naira per kilometer. And you are still talking about a country. Why are we lying to ourselves? Shane? We must act, even, even if they will not agree, we must be unapologetic in telling these truths. Whether we would have a country in 2027 is up in the air. Hunger has become a real issue. So, I mean, the, the government of the day will say, Mr. Faro Timmy, that they are making... Which government? The, the, the government, government that cannot even ensure that we have fuel. Which government? Do you have government? You have exploiters, buccaneers, thieves. But, I mean, Which government? The government of the day will say they are making efforts in fixing the problem. That they met on the ground. It's still early in the uh, okay. day. Just have about a year. I'm Chinese too. I'm Chinese and I'm six foot seven. Do you believe me? The government of the day has said they are making effort. We see the effort now. They are making effort. They are buying private jet. They are buying yachts. They are spending 21 billion to renovate. They are spending 90 something billion on edge. Is that the and then they are falsely and fraudulently implementing a Russian A report. They are busy privatizing NMPC. We are busy refining in Malta and everywhere. We see the effort they are making. So I'm Chinese too, Shane, and I'm six foot seven. Do you believe me? So you don't see any good that this government has done since Do the last one year? It? You no, I'm asking. You know, you because I'm a journalist. I'm, I'm see, asking. I'm, see, I had, no, I had no expectation of anything good 
from this government. Nobody steals power to benefit the people. Daily Farouk to me, God will bless you. God will bless you, Daily Farouk to me. It's just the plain truth. You see, it started from Kenneth to Coco and analyze it. Because Kenneth to Coco came and started talking about Peter Obi in a low tone. And which is bad. And according to Daily Farouk he said, and he repeats, he is going to support Peter Obi if there is election 2027, he will still stand to vote for Peter Obi, same as me. I will still support Peter Obi because the only man I know who will take Nigeria away from this condition is Peter Obi. Any other person seen as zero. That's for that. And let's go more further. A bad baller met with Tinibu. Discuss a bad anek. We are discussing on how to get 2027 presidential election again. Come on. Have we resolved the election process? Abola Ahmed Tinubu came into office. That is the main problem at hand. Because Malu Yakubu is still there. Malu Yakubu is still there. Although they changed his uh, CJN, Ariwola is not there. But KK Re, she is still there. So all these are things we need to look at on. These people, they are still there. We need to work on our electoral system. Yes, they need to work on these things. Malu Yaku must be kicked out. All these people, they need to fix all these things. Before we discuss a bad election in Nigeria, because Nigeria is a fair state. It's a fair state. Look at the person that is sitting there, Bola Ahmed Tiftinibu. That man is not bringing out something good. Everything that comes out from Bola Ahmed Tiftinibu is F na, F na, F na. Error. Everything is error. So, me, 2027, if they are doing election because you all saw what happened in River State when we case stole the ballot box and gave it to Bola Ahmed Tiftinibu. So, Sheon is trying. I understand Shane is a journalist. He's trying to do his job and, you know, don't want to be sentimental. Trying to, you know, stay in the middle. To say, oh, are you serious? This is a serious allegation. This is not serious allegation. This is what happened. It happened. We saw the videos out there. When Wiki sent his talks, after ballot, after uh, election material, People, he boys should go and steal the election material and bring it for him. And now, the same person, Bola Ahmed Tiftinibu, make him the SCT minister. And you are telling me, Nigeria is a... Like, see, we all need to know one thing. If Nigeria needs to be better, a lot of things just need to be changed in Nigeria. First, our election process just need to be worked on. Because that one, now the IS arrow. The IS arrow. Our election, see, it's is the IS arrow. That's how we end this video. Please help to share this video. God will bless you, daily for wrote to me. God will bless you. I know you, all, see, every time, whenever I listen to you, you always speak sense, a lot of sense. God will bless you. I will end this video. Please share this video. As you all do so, God bless you. See you guys on my next video. Stay safe, guys, and bye-bye.